Not at all. Um, um. Speed. This is what is essential to China's parcel delivery service across the country. So, just how fast is it? And let's find out more. So, this is the busiest time of the year in China when online orders soar through the roof. And especially at this time in November, November the 11th is known as Singles Day. And this is where millions of packages are being handled each day, as you can see. We have a uh, 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 a parcel picked up from Hangzhou is sent to a local sorting centre just outside of the city. And according to ZTO, they have more regional sorting centres like this to make the deliveries in quicker time. Hey, hello, hello. I so, it's not surprising that it is fast, but it's also the fact that it is cheaper and is convenient. For me to send a parcel from Hangzhou City to Tonglu County cost me 6 RMB, which is less than 1 US dollar. And you can send and receive the parcels from your home. But little did I know that Tonglu County is the birthplace of China's super fast express delivery companies like ZTO, YTO, STO, and Yunda. And they control more than 60% of the express delivery industry. But they are not resting on their laurels. These companies are continuing to innovate. This is one of the courier services collection points and they're calling this a supermarket. And what they mean by that is that customers can come here to collect their parcels directly from here or be delivered. And one of the innovative ways they're delivering these parcels, for example, to a mountainous region is to use these drones. And these drones weigh seven kilograms in weight and they travel at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and they can do 50 kilometers for per trip. And there's only one of these in Tonlu County. So the drone delivery is finally here and has reached its destination. So today it's taken around 16 minutes covering a distance of 13 kilometers. But the catch is, this drone has been automatically programmed to reach its destination. So today I want to talk to Mr. Zhu Jiaxin, who is the drone system engineer. So, how does this drone fly by itself? Uh, with the 5G, the drone can send the status back and then we can check the sta uh, drone status on our website with uh, low delay. Mm, okay, yeah. okay. So the signal is quite good, so you get updates every yes, second. Yes, yes. Uh, the second uh, system I think is the Navigate system. Yeah, we use the GPS and the Beidou, so the drone can fly to the point correctly. Uh, the third part I think is the image recognition technology. Yeah, when he flies to the Zhangjiao village uh, with the camera on the drone, it can analyze the uh, pictures under the ground and then it can land in uh, correctly and automatically. So you guys are using these drones to fly to these villages. Why use drones? Why not use transportation, you know, cars or... For example, when we take a uh, drive a car from Fengshui town to the Zhangzhou village, it will take uh, like uh, 30 minutes or more. But when we fly a drone, it just needs uh, 15 minutes or less. 
Okay, so you basically you're talking about efficiency, saving yes. time, and what about costs? Uh, it's cost uh, one point two yuan uh, each flight mm -hmm. for you guys. Okay. Yes. All right. So the last step of the process is to deliver this quite e to the person who ordered it in this village. But I'm going to hand deliver it. So let's go. Oh, no, yeah. It's in the quite e so, these companies are making sure to reach all consumers wherever they are. And because convenience is like a religion in China, innovation is key for these companies to meet evolving consumer needs. I'm in Hangzhou. Stay tuned with China Matters.